Two screws on the side of the lens mount retain the electrical contacts to the lens mount itself. After removing these, remove the four screws holding the plastic lens mount to the lens body. Once these are loose, pull the mount up carefully. There will be a flex cable on it that attaches to the lens PCB. Remove it and set the mount aside. There will be two spacers as well. Note their orientation and remove them. Now we have access to the PCB. The flex cable surrounding it need to be removed. I use a pair of tweezers lined with the fuzzy side of stick on Velcro. Note that it's usually much safer to use tweezers with dull ends rather than the sharp ones shown here. Once the cables are removed, carefully remove the free clear rubber grommets holding the PCB in place and slide the PCB off. You now have access to the mechanical components of the lens including the zoom module. For this video we're concerned with the focus motor and corresponding gears behind the steel plate. Note that the focus gear and rod at the front of the lens are undamaged and spin free. The plate comes off with two screws. Be very careful when removing the plate due to the spring holding down this gear in the center. The gears near the motor may pop up slightly as well requiring a push back into place. Generally these focus problems are due to one or more of these gears stripping especially when one can spin the focus ring when the lens is set in autofocus mode. In this case the fifth gear from the motor has stripped entirely and the fourth gear from the motor has lost a tooth. Any obstructing gears are removed and the offending gears are replaced. Replacement gears are available on eBay but not all of them are created equal. For instance these white and green gears are Chinese copies of gears 4 and 5 respectively. While gear 5 appears to be acceptable, gear 4 is too loose on the shaft. As a result, the gear teeth don't mesh, causing binding and sloppy operation. The best replacement gears are the same black plastic as the originals and can be found on eBay. Install the replacement gear or gears. Slide the spring back into gear 4 and screw the cover plate back down. Be sure not to pinch the flex cables in the process. The PCB follows. Reinstall the grommets into the PCB. Notice that these grommets have two slots. The PCB should sit on the lower slot, leaving the open slot facing towards the camera body. Then slide the PCB onto the three pins on the lens body. Reconnect the surrounding flex cables to the PCB and replace the two spacers in the location shown. Now the rear mount flex cable can be connected at this point and the mount itself fitted to the lens body. Try to make sure that the spacers do not shift when doing so and be careful to get the lens contacts oriented into the mount correctly. Reinstall the four mount screws then the two small screws for the contacts and this completes reassembly. The lens is now ready for testing.